Hello, Rom Mithril here once again, getting back to Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. It's time to head for Idle Springs. And a very nice sunset. Very nice colors. The Tikis are coming to life. In all fairness, it was kind of a clever idea. Spyro, the idols we were carving have come to life. They've locked us out of our temples or stolen our food. The workers can break the locks if they can get to the doors. So, we just need to clear the path. Just like this. With a tiki out of the way, the worker can get to the door and open it for us. But we'll check out that path in a moment. Here in Idle Springs, we've got a talisman, 400 gems, 11 enemies, and just two orbs this time. So, let's go for it. I'm not even sure what I crashed into there. That was kind of weird. So we'll just clear out the entrance first. There's another banded chest up there. We'll have to find a way to open that later on. For now though, this is why we needed to know how to swim. All kinds of goodies down here for us. There's also this opening down here. So let's go over here. I've been locked in here with all our tools, and the giant idol heads won't let the workers in unless we can solve the three puzzles they've given us. The first puzzle is to turn all these blocks yellow. If you have trouble, come back and talk to me. So, we have to solve three giant idol puzzles. The first puzzle is to turn all blocks yellow. Ask Foreman Bud for help. The first puzzle is pretty simple. It's one of those where, once you activate a tile, both the adjacent tiles will change their state. So pretty simple here. We just need to activate the four corners. Wow, Spyro, you did it! I mean, I knew you could do it. Now, meet me at the pond for the next challenge. So, off we go. Kinda overshot the landing there. This idol says he's hungry and won't be satisfied until he's swallowed ten fish. He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. So, flame fish to feed the idol. The idol is very picky. Actually not too picky, just don't give him red fish. Any other color is fine. Any size is fine. If you feed him a red fish though, that happens. This is more or less a game of patience. Just make really sure what color you're feeding him, and sometimes the hitboxes are a little bit wonky. And sometimes that happens. Are you sure you don't want redfish? We've got plenty of redfish! Oh, stop with the spicy sushi!
the main danger here is just losing your patience. There we go. Okay, Spyro, just one more puzzle to go. I'll meet you over by the colored stones for your final challenge. Well, we haven't seen any colored stones just yet. So, time to actually work our way through the level a bit. We now have shielded enemies. The shields will block your flames. But it's still a small enemy, so charging works fine. We also have these little beetles as far as fodder animals here. Go ahead and get the path opened up. Anything else out here? Doesn't seem to be. So, onward. Those metal shields are making enemies invulnerable to your flame attack. If you press and hold the square button, you can defeat them with your charge attack. Just in case you didn't know. Go ahead and get you out of the way. And your turn. And a delicious extra life. Oh, come back here. So another path opened up. Just to make sure... Okay, from a distance, I thought that worker was one of the wicker baskets. I'm seeing things. I'm seeing shinies where there aren't shinies. To aim the camera left or right, press the L2 or R2 button. Strange thing is, the L1 and R1 buttons work as well, so it's not just L2 and R2. Basically, any of the shoulder buttons. Work with me, camera. Thank you. And that's all the enemies taken care of. And so, there's our talisman for the stage. Of course we're not done yet. Basically, anything you want to do here is going to involve a little bit of backtracking. So we'll start by getting this treasure. There's some out here as well. Technically, I suppose you don't have to go this way, but just to show where it all links up. 
we're back out here now. Let's see, anything left behind out here? Doesn't look to be any treasure over here, but we do have the colored stones now. If you jump on these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle. I only know what the first one is. It's up to you to figure the rest out. Jump on the stones in the correct order. As far as I can tell, this is pretty much trial and error. I'm not sure if there's any particular pattern that it follows. Like, there are some slight links, and it does always make the same pattern. Just proof of concept, if you hit the wrong one... If you jump on these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle. It just resets. So now here's where I want to say this has a pattern. You go from the blue star to the blue triangle from the blue triangle to the white triangle, from the crescent shape to the other crescent shape, from the orange button to the other orange button, and from the circular button to the other circular one. Nice job, Spyro. You're pretty smart for a dragon. All I have to give you is this shiny thing I found in our toolbox. And so, that's one of the orbs. But it did take us all the way back here, so back we go. It's a pretty small stage overall, so it doesn't take too long to get back to where we were. Unless he just gets pinned on the side of a stair like that. All kinds of wonky terrain hitboxes here. Now we need to go this way. Lots more treasure to be had. as well as something going on over there. But we'll check that out in a moment. We want a very particular vantage point for this. Because it's time to get another skill point. This is perhaps one of the most strange ones of just, how are you supposed to know this was something you needed to do? See that tiki head down there? You need to glide to the top of it. And there we go. Simple enough, one of the easier skill points to get, just really nothing that points to you need to do this. It's fabulous to see you, Spyro. Now that the supercharged power-up is active, you can charge through the pedestals and send the dancing hula girls over here to help me. Use supercharged power-up. Charge through the stone pedestals. This one requires a bit of precision. You have to get all six in one go. If you fail, the pedestals come back and the hula girls get sent back onto them. Thankfully, it's not too terribly difficult. Take this orb. It could help you go places. 
Well, the orbs seem to fuel portals, so she's not wrong. So with that, we have both orbs for the stage. Now we just need to finish collecting treasure. That seems to be everything that's down here. Any of you have anything else to say? Don't seem to. So, time to head back up here. There was another way we could have gone up here, but we needed to take care of the hula dancers. Just follow the nice shiny gems. And we have a firework. so Idle Springs complete. But it does mean we had to come all the way back to the beginning, so off we go once again. Just want to see if they give me a one-up at any point here. There we go. And so, that's that. Terror lurks in the deep. And he wants a cookout. So it seems like everyone's getting along now. So with that, looking in the guidebook, we got the Jade Idol and 400 more gems, two more orbs, and they're not going to tell us, but another skill point. But with that, we've taken care of all the portals out here. So back into the castle with us. And that's where we're going to call it for now. Next time, we take on Hurikos. Until then, thank you very much for watching, I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well.